It is not a sensitive subject, but a subject that requires trust. There is no such trust between you and I, and such trust takes time. You may We attend Atris. It is the duty of all of us, from the first of my sisters to me, the last of the handmaidens. The last? I am the last of the handmaidens. This is correct. I train so that one day that will no longer be true. No, no, shoplifter comes a lot. She is a shoplifter. That is not entirely correct. There are times I am distracted. Perhaps once having known the ways of the Jedi, you may understand what occupies my thoughts. There is much knowledge on Telos, and only one of the Jedi remain. There is so much about their ways of battle, their forms, their stances, that may be lost forever if the last of the Jedi is taken from the galaxy. That would be tragic if we lost those techniques. I know your meaning, but I have not been clear on mine. Stance, form, discipline are a means of expression and communication. They speak one's heart and one's devotion to their cause. Devotion? Yes. The methods you use to meet your opponents speak truer than any words can express. When you risk pain or death, there is no truer sacrifice or strength. It's okay. I actually do finally... I, I get money from Twitch ads, although not very much, Jordan. I only found that out like a year ago. So... Um, I mean... It was to the Jedi traitor Malak. It was to the Jedi traitor Revan. When Terrus was destroyed, it showed Malak's heart through its execution and intent. It was brutal, without finesse, but showed his commitment to defeat the Jedi. Yet with Revan, there was the same commitment, but it was a subtle thing, like weaving threads in a tapestry or strokes upon a canvas. She spoke through battles and tactics in a way one could never do in words. She showed her heart at Malachor V, and finally, at the end of the Jedi Civil War. I believe she was speaking to Malak in that final battle, though few knew it. Through battle, Revan was meeting betrayal with betrayal, and showing Malak the pain he had inflicted on his master. What stronger display than death for conveying one's sense of being betrayed by one's own student? Revan's anger must have been great indeed. I would have wished to have been there for that final exchange, and seen the truth of their conflict with each other. Interesting. You may ask. You have a name. Before entering Atris's service, yes, I carried a name, as all the children of the Ichani do. What was it? It is not important. My title and rank is of consequence, not my name. I take value in Atris's service, not in myself. Sure thing, Sten. We all have value in our oaths to others, and the promises we make. When we make that pledge, we are pledging ourselves to something greater. When importance is placed on the self, then by such acts the galaxy is unmade. That's true. Is that your judgment of me? If reasons of the self is why you turned away, then yes, perhaps there was a judgment there. But it was not intended as an attack. You think I lost myself when I disobeyed the, the pathetic, worthless Jedi dogmatic scum? I do not know. That is a question you must ask yourself. Oh. Okay. You may ask. I like how I'm running out of nice things to say to her. Uh, we're good. Net light side shift. Ooh. I'm wondering what I picked that was dark side in that, but whatever. I suppose I'll just have to kill you for daring to disagree with me. Um, that reminds me I forgot to do something really quick. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, give me a second. By the way, I have something in the oven because I never finished cooking lunch. Because cooking takes time. So in about, looks like two minutes, I need to go check the oven. 
<laughs> Give me one moment. I completely forgot to do this. Oh, uh, you know what? It's faster to do it this way. God, I can hear the oven, the cooking as as I'm sitting here. Like it's audible. Okay. There you go. There you go. There you go. There we go. I don't know. This is my personal favorite setup right here. Is these two? Listen, Atris is the good guy. She's wearing white. Okay. She's got an ugly face, unlike Kreia. Why them? Because they're my favorite characters other than Atten, and I can't bring three party members. So, I bring the two people who are... Well, I bring the one person who's Jedi to begin with, and the next person who I want to make into a Jedi as soon as possible. Uh, I'm going to do this conversation, then I'll check the oven. You're the owner of this place? Is he? Is that guy okay? Right. CD on this place? I am Bob. I mean, you guys love minigames, right? You do love minigames, right? Right? <laughs> Mark? Never mind. Dorota Sintawi Passa Sushi Wi Kanai Meko Garif Hope is an illusion conquered by a weak mind. Crimson Chi Mapo Hirembi Kachapas. Why'd you lose? So the the prize for winning a swoop race is a ticket off world. How expensive are flight tickets in this universe? A droid. Listen, we need to give her the force, Kate. It's extremely important.
Well, I have a bit of a mess in my sink to clean up, but looks like it turned out okay. <laughs> I do need to grab something really quick though, please forgive me. Yes, this is, uh, so I made a stuffing, my own uh, design, which is a combination of Mr. Red and DBZ Kakarot. And thank you for watching my show, sir. It is a combination of cream cheese, Swiss, a little bit of salt, <laughs> dash of pepper, and some Gouda mixed and melted together which has then been stuffed into jalapenos and wrapped in bacon which has been grilled over a uh, a drain in the in the oven to make sure that the most of the bacon grease drains through and then does and so it doesn't actually sit and you know stew in the grease which makes for not only crispier bacon but it means most of the flavor comes through and then doesn't oversaturate whatever it is and uh that's it that's what this is it's, it seems so basic it took me like 40 minutes to make and obviously i didn't even finish in time <laughs> yeah. so mini games you guys like mini games right It's actually the second minigame we've seen so far, if you're paying attention. Yeah, I didn't play Bazaar because like, I hate Bazaar, but you know, it's there. We failed to beat the droid. Oh, well. So anyways, that was a thing. <laughs> I should have showed off Bazaar. I think I still have the opportunity to. Which would I rather live under? Uh, which New Republic, for there are two, Gum Gum. And also at which time that's relevant as well. I would also agree. I'd take the clone army any day. Hello, Ezra's. You cheat! Oh my god! What kind of monster would cheat at a video game? I can't believe you. I trusted you, Anakin. I mean, okay. Whatever your name is. Grachi, you batchin, compadwana muska! Yeah, but at which point in time, Gum Gum? 
Well, I guess I'll kill these people then. Yes, Kay. I turned her against you. Prepare yourself. Let us talk. Damn it, Dalton James. Oh no, the handmaid's dead. I haven't even looked at it yet, has this? I don't have a lot of reason to. Would you mind killing that guy? There you go. What are we doing on heat here? Ooh, yeah, those are nowhere near ready. Hey, Cord, I was just talking about Kraya. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I am kidding. Yeah, I don't think we're ever going to get lightsabers at this point. Which is okay, you know, we don't really need lightsabers. It's not like KOTOR 1 where, you know, we would get lightsabers like they were candy. Actually, that is kind of funny. It makes sense, though. KOTOR 1 was overwhelming with Jedi of various types. Let's see. Vesis, lightsaber... Doesn't seem to have one. I give her a force bike. There you go. She has a <clears throat> lightsaber. I don't see any customers waiting on though. I'm sorry. Shoot You want me to kill her? Maybe we can talk to her. Alright, done. I have to deal with the not male Rodian female. Let's see if I can find a not male female Romit Rodian here, guys. Let's see. So, Undur over there has a problem with you. Um. So I could kill one of them, kill the other, or kill both. What do you think I should do, Kay? You're my moral compass. Their lives rest in your hands. God, these are still hot. See, I didn't eat lunch, so I'm just sitting here like... Mm. <laughs> Staring at this plate of food in front of me. That's why I haven't put the gloves on yet. Uh, kill all of them. Just for you, Kay. I will kill them. Oh yeah, that's why it has Canadian bacon on it, Pillars of Snow. I mean, obviously. She seems pretty harmless. I didn't promise you anything. Look at camera and don't run the man. Don't So, what do you mean, veteran of war yet to come? You're pretty articulate. For a Rodian, isn't that a massive insult? That is a huge insult. Eggs. Scrambled eggs cord straight. I'd probably rather kill myself than eat spiders, if I'm just being completely honest with myself. Yeah, toast is another good one. 
Legit. You don't like eggs. I've never heard of that. Um, yeah, toast. You know, screw this guy. And those people must die, gum gum. All of them. Look, I'm not actually joking. I would rather starve to death than eat spiders. That's not a joke. I thank you for mentioning that right before I was about to have lunch. I, I appreciate your wonderful sense of timing. Why are the hoops on fire, Sierra Mike? That is how flesh and blood fights. Let me show you how one fights when one's life is the force. I won't let you harm him. I have heard of your kind. You worship strength, when all it does is rot you from within. You echo another's words, and as an echo it lacks strength. Who is it who has taught you of the Sith? I will not reveal my mistress, and I will not allow you to harm the one I travel with. I cannot harm him. His wound lies deeper than any blade could reach. That is why I follow him and protect him. Protect him? I do not believe you. You do not believe that I would follow him to death. Certainly you have read as much in my movements as I have in yours. There's no shame in your feelings, sister of the Achani. Be silent. You know nothing of what you speak. You are alone and wounded in your own way. I can feel its pulse like a heartbeat from the past. But if you will not believe that I mean him no harm, then believe this. I wish to learn from him. I wish to learn how it is he still walks. When his spirit is nothing more than a shell. When you feel as though the force, as if life itself, has abandoned you. I had a question for you, sister of the Achani. The exile. What does he look like? Like a man, but it is more than that. And I do not have the words. He shows kindness, both small and great, to strangers. He does this without hesitation. He has accepted me, even though he and my mistress are not allies. All I know is he makes me doubt the words of my mistress, one whom I have pledged to serve. Such feelings are not unknown to me. And I fear such doubts. Could it be my mistress was wrong about him? That perhaps he did not seek to betray the Order? That perhaps my mistress felt as I did, and when he left the Order, she found that she doubted as well. There is a feeling that emanates from him, like, like a sound from far away, that has traveled a vast distance to reach here. Like an echo. Your words are well chosen, sister of the Ichani. I will not harm him. But it is not me you should fear. There are darker things in the galaxy than a blind one such as I. Something troubles you, servant of Atris. Leave me be. I have seen what you have seen, the slow seduction of the Sith. Perhaps we are more allies than you know. I fear the exile has let his feelings for the Miraluka affect his judgment, and it will doom him. There is still hope. I do not believe so, and neither do you. You have seen his stance, his movements. They mirror hers, not yours. But do not mistake my intent. We are together in this. And if we stand together, we may yet prevent a greater tragedy. I do not believe you. And I do not trust you. What you think is of no concern. What the exile thinks is what should concern us. Hey, General, are you all right? You look like you've been standing too close to one of my shield generators. 
Whoa. Claws out today, aren't they? General, need something? Yes, General? Let me see what you have. No, you're still missing a lens. Something else I can help you with? That old thing? I built him when I was a kid. Been following me around for years now, despite what I've done to try and chase him off. Hey, just kidding. I'm happy to have you around. He helps me out with repairs. I outfitted him with a cutting laser and some other tools for delicate modifications. He's also good for singeing the pants of annoying techs. I've been thinking about doing some other work on him, but I barely have time. Too busy fixing up the ship. Something else I can help you with? If the Republic would just rein Zerka in, there'd be no problem. But as long as Zerka is allowed to undermine the Athorian's efforts, Telos will remain dead. I can't take seeing my work being used by those bloodsuckers. But there's nothing I can do about it, so let's talk about something else. Something else I can help you with? I got tired of it. Kept dropping my hydro spanner. Figured I'd get a new one. Yeah, but that was fun. I was only kidding. Actually, it was a souvenir from Malakor. I was lucky it was all I lost. But at least it gave me something to do, right? Everyone always said I was probably half machine anyway. Something else I can help you with? Why are you here? If you have come to ask me questions, try to find out more of Atris or the Academy, then I have nothing to say to you. I see where your loyalty lies. And if you stand with her, then you cannot stand with me. She is of the Sith. She has faced battle and been found wanting. Why is it you trust her and not I? I would follow you wherever you led. I believe in what you seek, yet you listen to her counsel. She who would lead you to the Sith Lords themselves. She who would sacrifice you to darkness. I do not believe you. Every action you have taken with her runs counter to your words. This is the end between us. I will aid you against the enemies we face, but when it is settled, you shall not see me again. I don't actually remember. Is there a way to, like, not screw up both of them? I'm actually curious. Well, that's not the first time I've seen that. So. Hmm. Curious or something, forgive me. Uh, 
Oh, welcome, Exile. Is there something you need? Yes, your features, your stance. There is a calm about you that I did not notice on Telos. There is an energy about you, a lightness in your movements. It is something I have seen in only the most disciplined and revered of the Ichani Weapon Masters. Yet it comes to you with ease. It shows in your features. It is beautiful to see. You may ask. She said you betrayed the Jedi by going to war when it was forbidden to you. You turned on your masters, your teachings, and yourself. So I'm going to cut off the stream early today. Not right now, but in about 20 minutes, just as an FYI. You may Hang on, we've actually gone through this. I will not be coming back on later today, no. Everything's fine. It's my sister's birthday. There, there is so much about. <clears throat> that is terrifying. Period. No, I didn't forget. Hell, I bought her present last week. Both of them. I was offering her a third present, because I like giving. And while I was offering her a third present, she says, you should be over by my place at like 5.15. And I'm like, uh. <laughs> and that was pretty much my reaction. Uh. To the each stand. Yeah. It was to the, when Terrace, yeah, she's, I believe. Hmm. What I would be when I'm I do not okay. Many viewers say happy birthday, period. That's... what? Oh. She says thank you. She says tell them thank you. <laughs> I have relayed. Thanks for your. Whatever. I saw. We're still gonna be nice. Even though she's going to be evil. By giving him something he has not earned, perhaps all you have helped him become is a target. Hey, Alex, have you heard about the fact that this is a, an election year? You know, Alex, you should really consider voting for me. 
If you don't, I swear to God. And perhaps in the end, all you have blah, 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 bl
I mean, it wasn't exactly legally ratified before, but you could. Bye. Leads to the docks. And this leads to racing, I'm pretty sure. Grachi, you gava. I agree. All politics should be run by the Sith. Because that would be really stupid, actually. Yeah, I love it. Dark side points. Wah, wah, wah. So, <laughs> this isn't really politics, but it is political humor, so, you know, whatever. We here in the States have a two-party system. I'm not going to give my opinion on that. That's not relevant. The, what is relevant is we have a two-party system. We have since, uh, I think, like 1834 or something. I looked it up at one point. Anyways, it's been a while. So, as a result of that two-party system... Um, you have to vote for one of the two parties, basically. Otherwise, you are throwing your vote away, right? That is so old school that uh, one of the only times a third-party candidate has gotten anything worth a damn at all was actually Ross Perot. And he only got about 20%. That is how flesh and blood fight. It's a good scene, but not what I want to hear right now. Something troubles you, Servant of Damn it. Yeah, that's what I figured. <sighs> well, whatever. I'll fix this. I can fix this. But in order to fix this, I'm going to have to uh, chop off the local recording. 